nyala bro. The penetrative syringe can be used as any ordinary syringe. After usage, when you press the protective sheet, the breakage mechanism makes the syringe broken into two pieces. The one piece, which is bigger, is, is a syringe which is having no nose piece, so that no needle can be connected to, any, to that anymore. And the other piece is uh, left inside the ne syringe uh, needle hub, so that it is rendered non-reusable by any means. WHO has recommended all his member countries to stop using ordinary syringes and to change over to safety syringes that which cannot be reused. Uh, many campaigns were organized uh, to invent such syringes and around uh, more than 2000 syringes models were invented. But both, both, all of them fell into two categories, either highly costly and fully safe or partly safe and uh, cheap. Fully safe and cheap syringes were not invented. And uh, luckily, with good grace, I happened to invent one design which is both fully safe and is, uh, can be manufactured and sold in a cheaper rate. In medical schools, in the hospitals, in inpatients and other places, these practices may not be generally be followed because of lack of resources and other things. So we still have this destruction of needles and other things which are being taken care of by other methods. So we always require the self-destructible needles or the what is known as the, the infolding needles on destroy, which destroy themselves, so that there is no harm to either people who deal with injections or who get the injections, and for that matter, who are cleaners and sweepers and other people. Generally, these syringes were taken by some boys and after cleaning, it used to come to the market and it is, it is given to the hospitals. But now, 
uh, these syringes are taken, these syringes are taken to the plant and autoclaved, shredded and sent for recycling.